I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. My name is Desiree. Today we are going to talk about grooming and some tips. I'm going to show you guys how to groom. Hey, here I know. How to groom your pig hive. Huh? I'm going to relax. Everybody's probably wondering why I'm back in here. Uh, Alexis is home. Yay! So she gets to run the show for us today. I'm happy to have her back. Uh, I don't know if she's happy to be back. I think she is. She misses you guys too. So again, we are going to talk about grooming. Uh, but before we get started, no, Devin. Um, I just want to go over a few housekeeping rules. Please do me a favor and type new in the comments below if you guys are new to her. And the, also, I need you guys to do me another favor. If you have questions that you plan to ask me, please put three question marks before your questions so that Alexis can see your questions. Otherwise, they will get missed. And give us a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this topic. And so we're going to get started. I'm going to move the grooming table right here in just a few minutes, but I want to show you guys some tools and how much my dogs love to get groomed. And, um, and then we'll put the table right here. Okay, 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 I see you guys. Oh, I didn't even finish talking. Um, so let me show you guys. Alexis, you know the drill. Let me know if you have any questions. I didn't talk about Super Chat and Super Sticker. I think you guys all know if you have a Super Chat or a Super Sticker. <coughs> yeah, he's telling you. Then um, you guys will jump to the top of the list for questions. <coughs> hey, River, River, huh? Thank you, Madison. Thank you, Madison. <coughs> Okay, okay, let's not bark, let's not bark. So I have the tools I use all of the time, and I'm just gonna show them to you real fast um, as I go through a few things. But I wanna show you um, how much our dogs love to get groomed. They fight over it. So I'm gonna sit on the floor for a minute just so you can see. River, really, chill. So you're gonna want a slicker brush. We'll go over these um, in detail in a minute. Uh, a rake, I'm sorry, a comb. Um, that's more of a flea comb. A rake, a comb, and the Zoom groom. So you'll see these up close in just a minute. But all I have to do is say, Roo, come here. And literally, they're gonna all want it this. <laughs> Except for River. She's like, wait, what are we doing? Come here. Hey. Yeah. River? Turn the volume down. Do you know how to do it? I did it. Okay. Ah! It didn't help. Shh. It's because like... <laughs> the mic's right here. So do you see that she's literally just coming over here for brushing? Huh. Yeah. Um, and they love it if you guys start early. So if you start as a puppy and get them used to it, ah! hey River, stop barking at it. It's a freaking basket. <laughs> There. <laughs> it's a basket. It's a basket. It's a basket. All right, so I just wanted to show you real fast. I'm going to put the table up here. <laughs> Go over. River, if you can't be quiet, you're first. So, well, who wants to be first? Who wants to be first? Who wants to be first? Okay. Catherine said, River is quite vocal tonight, LOL. <laughs> He's always vocal. You will get to see that tomorrow, Catherine. Okay, so Lex, if you could switch the camera. Yep. Hey, look at that. Okay, so we're going to have a different view for you guys so that you can see up close. Now, if your dog is shedding, you're going to want a bag because... There's going to be hair everywhere if you don't. Catherine said, and Diamond is too big. <laughs> Diamond's getting big, huh? Um, Kira's in a crate right now because she wasn't being good, but hopefully I'll let her out here in a minute. All right, who's first? So if you guys have a grooming table, I highly recommend it because it helps with your back. Um, and it also makes it a lot easier than you hutching over and trying to get all areas. And the dogs usually love it and they'll end up laying down. Um, for their grooming sessions, it just makes my life a lot easier. So if you have one, or you, or if you think you should 
um, he was one, then I will recommend getting a rooming table with a pole here because in the beginning your dog may not, River, may not just stand like this on a table. Um, and so you want to get them used to it. Okay, Rev. Do I need to put him away? I have a question from Tanya. Okay. <laughs> if you don't have a grooming table, what surface should you put them on? That's what I was just going to say. If you don't have a grooming table, then I would recommend using a table specific for grooming, like a, a TV tray or a small little portable uh, table that you like you would take camping, something like that. But you need to make sure it doesn't have a slick surface because if it has a slick surface, um, your dog's going to slip. Sierra. Um, and if they slip, they're not going to want to stand on it. So you want to make sure it doesn't have that. If, if it is slick surface, then put a towel <coughs> on the table so that way it's not as slippery or a, um, a mat, you know, like a kitchen mat or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so Nala is shedding, so she's the perfect one to start with. And a lot of times um, what will happen is when the dogs start to shed, they will be staticky. And so we had um, been asked the other day what this spray is. That <laughs> I gotta get him. Come here. Oh, I know. Here. Bully sticks. Here. Here. Everybody. River here. Uh, here. Go. There. Now you guys can hear me. So if they're staticky, and you're brushing them with these, you know, metal tip brushes or combs, then what's going to happen is the static is going to be felt on your dog. And so they, it, it can be uncomfortable for them and they don't want it. So, <laughs> honey, you want to hold <laughs> yeah. That didn't help. <laughs> I know. Come here. Come here. Here, go to daddy. You get to be held. Here. I'll take him in there. Come here, Nala. All right. Quick intermission. Try that again. Jeez, Louise. Um, so you don't want them to be staticky. So you can use a bottled water, uh, um, sorry, a spray bottle with water in it, or you can use something like this. And this is just Burt's Bee um, Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner. And this breed doesn't necessarily need a leave-in conditioner, um, but it smells good and it will help just get rid of that static. So that's all I did. It's just a light mist. And now it's just moist, so it's not going to be real staticky. And then I will use the Zoom Groom normally first, because the Zoom Groom is going to just massage them. It's going to massage the um, the spray that I put in, which is for this one. It's a leave-in conditioner, so that's great. And then also, man, the dogs are loud today. Quick question. Yeah. Um, Alexia asks, "What bully stick do you use?" <laughs> Um, so we actually use uh, two different kinds. The ones that we get from Amazon, they're on my website. Um, and then what everybody has right now is called Safety Chew. Um, and Safety Chew is actually going to sponsor our next um, live stream. And so we'll go over in detail what Safety Chew, uh, Safety Chew is. But that's what those um, green holders are. And so it's awesome because they um, cannot choke on the bully stick. And so... They actually have their own bully sticks through Safety Chew that um, are all made in the USA and they already have the little drilled out hole so that it can get attached um, inside of it. So two different kinds, Safety Chew or Amazon. Best bully sticks, I think. Um, so do you see how much fur is just falling off of her? You guys can see that, I'm sure. Yeah. She's starting to shed big time. So she's enjoying this Zoom groom quite a lot. She's got to get pretty for her baby whenever it arrives. Huh. So once I'm done with... <laughs> she's rubbing her face because she has hair on it. So once I'm done with that, which, again, there's no time limit on this. It's just however long you think that your dog is enjoying it or if it's still doing the job and you have plenty of time. Great. Now, you see how much hair is coming off with the Zoom Groom. It doesn't really collect a whole lot of it. And so you want to do this either outside or in an area that you can easily sweep up or vacuum the floor. Um, I prefer to do a lot of my grooming outside, but not everyone can do it outside. Not everyone has good weather. So keep that in mind. But now I've loosened up a lot of that undercoat. It's all falling out. 
Um, if I still feel like there's a lot of tufts, a tuft is like where there's clumps of fur already starting to come out, then I'm gonna use the rake. And the rake is going to also just loosen up a lot of that undercoat that's ready to come out. And remember that the rake is really pointy metal. So you are not pushing down hard. You're not going all the way down the scalp. Um, you're literally just going over the top of their fur, not pushing down. You'll know if it's hurting your dog because they're going to cry and whimper and run away. So you want this to be enjoyable. In order for it to be enjoyable, they, it has to feel good to them. So that's why we start with the um, with the Zoom groom. I'm going to take this up close. So I just, have a question for my son. <laughs> what is the easiest to groom? For my son? Yeah, you <laughs> um, We have a lot of dogs that are easy to groom. They fight over being groomed. Ethan, you should know. You should be the one doing this. Um, actually, we have a lot. We have Simba and Nala, Rue. Uh, even Diamond's fine with me. Diamond doesn't really care for it with Alexis, but I think that's who she knows what she can get away with. Uh, Sonia asks, is a rake similar to a Furminator? No. So I'm going to show you. No, let's stay. So a Furminator, I have one, and I don't recommend you use it. Stay. So, okay, this is what a rake looks like. And there are a lot of different kinds of rakes. Oh, I'm really loud right here, I'm sure. The mic's right here. So there's a lot of different kinds, but do you see how long the prongs are? Because we have... The thicker coated dogs. So if you get one that has really short teeth, then it's not going to really do the job. But because it's so long, you have to make sure that you don't push down too hard. Okay, so that's a rake. This is a furminator. Do you see that? So a furminator will destroy a Klikai's coat. Um, it what it does is this all of these metal teeth. They hurt my fingers first of all, so I wouldn't want to put this on them. But what happens is Okay, no one wanted down. This will um, pull out their top coat as well. And so it's going to damage that top coat. And their top coat won't grow back as fast as their undercoat. So you wouldn't want to use a Furminator. I don't recommend a Furminator. I will tell you I have one because uh, probably 15 years ago when they came out, maybe even longer, everybody ran and got one and we thought it was the greatest thing ever. And then we quickly realized that it was probably the worst thing we could have done for our breed. Um, and anyway, I stopped using it. And so now it became a chew toy and a, um, an example of what not to use. So if your dog will not stay on the table, you can use this, but we'll go over that in here in a minute. So I want to keep going with um, the rake. One more question real quick. Go ahead. Tanya said, do bigger dogs take more time to grow? Oh, yeah, for sure. So the bigger they are, the longer it's going to be because the more hair they have, um, the thicker the coat, the longer it's going to be because of how much hair they have. Now, one tip, if, if you have a dog who is shedding a lot, like Nala is right now, the best way to do it, if you are not going to take her to a groomer and you plan to do it yourself, is to give her a bath first. If you bathe her, here you go. If you bathe her, it will loosen up all of this stuff while you're bathing and what I like to do is use the zoom groom with the soap in her and it will just loosen up so much however you have to make sure that it um, doesn't go down your sink and clog up your sinks so if you do plan to do that just either put a, a stopper or something in your sink so you brush or stroke or rake up and down in opposite directions from how the hair actually grows? I go both ways, depending on the area. Um, I do like to go the opposite way from, so if the hair's laying down flat, I go the opposite. Um, usually, especially in the thick areas right here, because it's just easier for me to get it. This is her butt area. So if I go this way, it's going to lift it um, out a lot easier. But depending on how, like, she's just going to lay here. So I go back and forth. So you see I'm going this way. Remember when you get to the spine, to be very careful with a rake. You will hurt her 
it you push down you can feel it like I literally pushed like this just barely over it and I could feel her spine and the bumps from her spine so of course I don't want to push down there so I avoid her spine area with the weight is the zoom broom similar to the glove it is similar to the glove glove I use the glove too which is right over here um, just depending on um, the dog or what I'm doing where I'm at the glove I should have put it up is nice however the teeth are very short thank you thick. sandy thank yes, you sandy so do you see the thickness and then look at the thickness so do you see the teeth are very short right so if they're super super short it's not going to get very much on the glove versus the zoom groom however the, the glove will hold it a little better come here nala This is another massage. They love this just as much. And the glove, really you're going with the, the grain of the hair. So if the hair is laying this way, I'm going this way. Because the glove is, it's hard to go that way with the glove. Do you see how hard it is? So I go with it. And you could use it on your fingertips. Do you see how much hair is on the glove? where the zoom room doesn't really collect a lot. So this works pretty good. It just depends how thick your dog's coat is. Um, the thicker it is, the more deep you need to go down because remember what's shedding is the undercoat. The undercoat is the second layer. So that's what's further underneath. So all of this dark color is not her undercoat. That's her top coat. So do you notice how all, all of the fur I'm getting out is white? That's the undercoat and the top coat is all her coloring and so that's what will get damaged with the um, Furminator. So this is the one thing I don't care about with the glove is it's very hard to get all the fur out of this glove. Whew. Yeah, it collects it for me, which is great, but it's really hard to get it out. Lauren said, whenever I have the glove on, I have Draco and the cats line up to be rubbed down with it. <laughs> yeah, it, it does work pretty good and they love it. It's just messy so as much as i would encourage you to to get them used to being groomed like while they're laying down relaxing if it's carpet or your couch it's just going to be a mess but it's just never ending so the hair is just going to keep coming out so if you can bathe them then groom them because you're going to get a lot of fur already out um, by just giving them a bath and which then, one of your pups has the thickest fur Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rue or um, Siggy actually has really thick fur too, but Rue's is pretty thick, but that's mother daughter. So, all right, so now I'm just, I just got some of that off of Drake. So now what I would do. Once I finished with the glove or the zoom groom or both, right, and the rake, then I'm going to move on to slicker. Now, there are several slickers. Can you stay? Stay. Stay. There are several slickers, okay, but do you see, I knew she was going to do that. Do you see the little balls? So all of those little balls are going to protect your dog's coat from getting poked because if these balls are off, they're, um, they're metal thongs, basically, and they're going to hurt. Come here. Come here. You're not done. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush her with a slicker brush. Okay? So a lot of it's already loose. Now I'm going to collect it with this. And with the slicker brush, I also go both ways. I go with the way the hair lays, and then I go the opposite, too. And so... Literally, I'm going pretty fast. I would probably still be working on my Zoom room or my glove right now, just because it's enjoyable for her. And the more I can loosen up, the less I'm gonna have to do with the brushes. Um, and a lot of times, the um, if it's outside, then I don't care if it flies all over the place, it's pretty easy. But with this slicker brush, 
which, by the way, I got on Amazon. I was going to try and see how, how it works. This slicker brush, no, stay, stay, has a little button. Do you see that button? I'm going to show you what it does. Do you see that? So what it did, Nala. stay, was it released it all for me. Pretty cool. I didn't know how good it was going to be. A little bigger. Um, I didn't know if it was going to work very well, but it works pretty good. So I need to add this onto the grooming. Um, I have list. a question from Jenny. Okay. What tricks do you have for a stubborn Kukai? Goose acts up and trying to murder him when we attempt any grooming. <laughs> okay, so you're going to have to start off with get him a, a lick mat or um, something that he you can stick to the wall or the ground. If you do it on the ground, it's just hard because if it's sticking to the ground, then they have to have their head down. But if you do it in the bathtub or do it in if you have a big sink and put a lick mat, they have the sticky back one, so they have one that just suctions right on or the wall and put something delicious inside that lick mat so that he's standing right here, lick, 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 lick. And hopefully he's going to be so excited because it's something that he doesn't usually get that he um, doesn't care that you're grooming him. Another trick is going to be make sure he's really tired so that he gives up easier. Um, but you have to make it fun at first. So start off with just giving him massages with the stuff. And the, the earlier age you start, the better they're going to get used to it and, and eventually start to love it. However, if you're using the wrong tools, you may not even realize it, then you could be hurting him or he's had a bad experience and got hurt. And then um, he just has that memory, right, of, of it not feeling great. And so he's going to scream or run because he's afraid of it. So the other thing you could do is uh, make sure that he is smelling the, the tools that you're using. Get him used to it. Let him... Um, like everyone's, everything's right here. So you just want to get them used to it. Maybe a few times you can just have them out, but don't actually use them. Um, and just let him see them and smell them. You okay, Diamond? She got down to the nub. Yep. I thought she did. Okay, so now I'm going through all of this. I need her to stand because I need to get her booty. So this is why I like the table. So do you see how I don't have to really hunch over very much? No, I know you're tired, but that's fine. You can lay there. Um, just makes it a lot easier because I'll groom one dog. If I'm just going to do it um, because she's shedding like this, I'll probably groom her for like an hour. So it's not a five, 10 minute thing when they're blowing coat. I'm going to be doing this for quite some time um, to get it all out. But do you see how much she's enjoying it? Even though she keeps jumping down, but she's jumping down because she wants one of those blue stick on top. Like, see? Exactly what she wants. Okay. You can have it right here. Although it's pretty much gone. So she's not jumping down because she doesn't want to be groomed. She's jumping down because I gave everybody else a blue stick and made her a blue stick. So let's just pretend that I'm done with it. Diamond, you're not eating that one too. No. Not happening. Here. Once I'm done with all of this, I want to get her butt, make it all poofy. Well, that wasn't very smart of you, Nola. Come here. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> she's, she's the one who did it. I saw it twice. She, go to the other camera and look at where she's at. <laughs> she just has the bully stick and went into the bed. <laughs> Come here. That's because the bully stick can't go down there. You've got to be up here. So now this is a perfect opportunity for me to show you guys something. Let's just say your dog will not stay here. You don't have a choice. You have to get them groomed right now. Then that's where this comes into play. So this is detachable. It can go, um, it could be on or off. Just unscrew it from the bottom. But the cool thing with this is this adjusts. So my height will go up and down. And it comes with this Martingale style leash. And what I can do is make them stay. So if I have a dog who's jumping, now this is a little too long because she can get off to the side and she could hurt herself. 
So I have to raise this up. So I twist and raise until I can see that it's not choking her out. But if she goes too close to the edge, she's stopped. So now she can't jump. Um, and if your dog won't stand, they have the double, which is really cool. This is also on my website. So some of my stubborn dogs, this will go over her head or his head, and this will go over his body. And it's one swivel, okay? And this is gonna force them to stay standing. And once they've done it a few times, you won't have to use this anymore. I never use that anymore, but I did in the beginning. So generally you groom once a week or more. <laughs> yeah, I groom a lot. Um, but of course I have dog, a lot of dogs. However, even when they're not shedding, you should be grooming your dog once a week, but it doesn't have to be for the full hour because if you continually just groom them every week, even when they're not shedding, then when it is time for them to blow that coat, it's not going to be as bad because you're, you're getting hair out every week, even though it's just a little bit. You're also getting your dog used to being groomed when, um, when there isn't much shedding and they'll start to enjoy it. So you just have to start slow if your dog doesn't like it and give them something to look forward to with it and make them tired first. That'll help. Have you heard of the pet teaser brush that life with two cat uses? No. Mm -mm. What kind of brush is it? I'm curious. Um. <laughs> no. Liza said, I'm going to try to get back the bath before the potty. T A T by Saturday. <laughs> So do you see how she's trying to sit down and this is too tall now for her? So you have to pay attention to that, right? And you have to lower this so that way it doesn't um, choke her out. She doesn't really need this on, so I'll take it off of her. But I just wanted to show you guys. So now once I feel good about how much hair I've gotten off of her for the day, because when they are blowing this coat, you need to realize this is not a one day I'm done. All of a sudden it's all gone. No, this is a every day for a good week of grooming because you're going to like, oh, it looks pretty good. And then tomorrow, all these new little tufts are going to be like just coming from nowhere. Um, and so you'll have to do it again and you'll do it again and you'll do it again. And then once they stop shedding, it's literally like you got another four months, five months, six months before you really have to stress over it. So a lot of times the dogs do not like their tail done. Jenny, this is another idea. Get him up on a table, get him used to having something up here. Just make sure it's not your kitchen table. So that he is getting used to just sitting up here. Nala with a bully stick. Um, but one thing that dogs don't always like is grooming their tail. And I usually, I, of course, I would never use a rake, right? Because the rake is going to hurt her tail. Um, it's hard to get a rake to, you're going to hold the tail and use a rake. It won't work. But you can use the glove. And then you are going to use your slicker. But you don't want to push hard. You just have to remember that their tails are sensitive. A lot of dogs do not like their tail being brushed. But it does shed. So it needs to be included with your grooming. What is the bully stick holder thingy called? It's uh, called safety chew. Safety chew. Next week we're going to talk about safety chew. Next week I'm going to give you guys a, a code to get a discount off of ordering. And I'll go over everything with you on that. But this week's, I, uh, I don't have time this week to go over all that. But it's safety chew. So it'll help prevent your dog from choking on. Okay, so. How do you know if they're blowing their coat? Oh, you'll know. <laughs> Fur will just be all of a sudden rolling all over your house and all over your clothes and all over you. You'll know. They start to get clumpy. Um, okay, so. Now I'm done with my slicker, let's just say. And then I move on to my rakes. And I use two rakes. One of them is really a flea comb. Um, but I use this for her head, her ears, her feet. 
Okay, do you see how fine tooth that is? And I use that in this area because I can't get a rake in here, right? The slicker's going to hurt her, her little ears. But this fine tooth comb is going to literally pull out the little pieces of fur, and I'm going to show you, I'll get up close, um, that, are, that are shedding off of her ears. So it's pretty convenient to just use a paint comb. That's what these are called. So, everybody's thinking about getting a uh, grooming table now. So do you see, the minute ago I showed you this and there was no hair in this? And do you see now how we got hair? And this is off of an ear, one ear. So now once I get one ear, then I'm going to go to the other. So I emptied this comb. Let's see what we get off of this ear. So I'm holding the tip of her ear, and I'm just going the opposite way, right, to get it to, lo to loosen up. And, and because the hair on their fur, on their ears, it lays down. So you have to go against it to, to kind of pull it up. And just be careful because you're dealing with metal. So look at how much, again, off of that ear. Okay, so that's her ears. So I like to use this and her head. So I'll do her head here. And I'm very gentle, right? A lot of times I'll take their collar off because I can't get in there. But if your dog won't stay or... Um, you need to control them and you need to leave it on then you can just put a choke chain because the choke chain is really thin and you can get underneath it but do you see how her hair is just kind of laying flattened and smashed down because of her collar so I'm taking that off so that I can get around her neck and her jaw kind of here see that and I'll show you how much hair we're going to get Okay, enough water, Missy. <laughs> uh, so, the other thing I'm going to use this for is her feet. So, her legs and her feet also need to get combed. So, it's the same thing. You're going to go opposite way. No, sit. Sit, Mama. Sit. Sit, sit, sit. 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 So, I'm going against this hair that's laying flat. No, it's not. You got bullied. And of course, a lot of dogs don't like their feet messed with, right? So you want to just be quick, get it over with. But look at all of that that just came off of her foot. It's a lot of hair. And you can't use any other brush on her legs. There's nothing's going to get it off because it's too short. So this might be something that is a lot easier to do with a dog in your lap because they don't like their feet touched. And so another reason why I told you guys several times to just get your dog used to having their feet touched. So that way it's a lot easier on you. So after, yeah? Does grooming help reduce allergic reactions? My brother-in-law is allergic to honey. <laughs> um, unfortunately... I mean, I don't think it's going to reduce it because they're they're going to be shedding again and again. But it may help with the amount of fur that's flying in the air, so the dander. Yeah, but it's not going to, I don't think it'll really help with um, your brother-in-law. So once I've got her feet, now the last thing I'm going to do is, um, these I can do either order, okay? It doesn't matter which order. Then I go over her with a comb. So... My comb, I have two sides. Do you see one is really fine close together and one is not? So depending on the dog and how much um, they're shedding, you'll see the clumps. I'll use a, the thicker side. Um, but if they've already really shed a lot and I already have most of it out, I use the finer side. And the comb is going to literally, you're just going against the hair and gently pulling out any of the stuff that's looseness. And you could go down because this is her little booty. And it's going to pull all of that out. Look at all that. This was after I already used how many different tools. And I'm still getting all of that on her booty. Come on. 
and I go over her entire body with the comb. And the comb also, if you go against the, um, the way the hair lays, it's going to help fluff her coat. So you'll see me a lot of times holding the skin on the back of the neck so I can go against it like this. She's like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to take a nap. Huh. But yeah, grooming table, guys. You have to have a grooming table. It just saves your back. And it teaches your dog, okay, this is what time it is. It's grooming time. And if you reward them every time they're up here, then they start to associate this table with reward and positive association and love because you're, you're spending time with them, even though to us it's work, to them it's feels good if you're using the right tools. So do you see I'm going against it um, and you'll feel where all of the, um, the hair is that's loose. You'll feel it kind of resist. So you have to go gently and I'm doing quick little strokes, right? So I'm quick, 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 but I'm not going across the whole um, body because it won't, for one, it won't go through. There's a lot of undercoat in there that's loose, but not loose enough to where it just comes right out. So this is going to help get it out. The more tools you use and spend in one session, the quicker you're going to be done with her shedding for this season. So once you get through all of this, I need to turn her. Once you get through a whole area right here where you can actually just comb, do you see how I'm able to go from here to here? They can see that, right? Yeah. Um, that's because I've gone through all of that area and I got all of this hair out. So now it, it's not stuck and clumpy, so I can just go back and forth and it's fun. Do Roombas help with all the hair? Yeah, I have two of them. But I will tell you, the, the Roombas get full really fast. So you have to have the one that um, has the self-emptying canister. We have that one. So it has a bag and it knows to go back home and empty its canister um, into the bag, into the big um, bag that the, um, the, vacuum. the vacuum dust goes in. But yeah, we've had ours for two or three years now and um, it's never had a problem. I mean, you just have to clean the inside bottom sometimes because there will be just a lot of hair in there, but it's, it hasn't broken down. I have a lot of dog hair. So, how do you socialize them with the anxiety tucked in their paws? You have to just, while you guys are sitting down watching TV, relaxing, giving them love, you're just doing this. You know, play with their feet. And also, if, you're, if you are um, cutting their nails at a young age and you're getting them used to it, then um, they'll be fine with it. So, she's fine. She lets me, but it's not like her favorite thing. You just got to start them early. It's all about um, desensitizing them to that. And if you don't start from the 8 to 16 week mark, it's going to be harder. But if you start early with the grooming, if you start early with cutting their nails, they'll be used to it and they're desensitized from it. So you won't have a problem. I think uh, Aaron and Jack Terranova were late. You want to go over the Furminator again? <laughs> She yeah. said, uh, Aaron said he purchased the Furminator to shedding tool recently and he love it. The most effective grooming tool we've tried by far. Throw it away. Ziggy gives it to us. <laughs> throw it away. I'm going to tell you right now. Throw it away. The, um, that tool damages their top coat. So yeah, you think it's doing a great job because it does pull it all out, but it's, it's not necessarily pulling out their undercoat. They're pulling out their top coat. It's literally cutting. So think of their top coat being this long. And when you're using that Furminator, before you know it, their, their um, top coat's going to be shorter because that Furminator is chopping their hair. It's not breaking it out. So it's breaking it off. Sorry to bust your bubble. <laughs> but I, I get it. I had one too. 
why I have one to show you guys. So do you see this? This is this is why. Do you see all this hair is stuck to me? That is because I've, I've brushed her so much that it's getting staticky again. So in order to prevent that static, I have to spray her again, either with water or with a leave-in conditioner, either one, and you're just spritzing. Okay. So that said, good to know. <laughs> Um, so you're just spritzing her again, so that way it will stop being staticky, and it'll be easier to pick up, and it won't hurt her. So, obviously, I am going very quickly, and she is still shedding a lot, so she's nowhere close to being done, but this gives you an idea of the process. So it literally is a good hour every day. So I will use this, the comb on the tips of her tail and on the base, but I am not pushing down hard so that I hit her, um, her actual tail cartilage. I'm just getting the fur. This is another area that you really have to desensitize them to and get them used to it. I know, you don't want to be done. But, Ruru, your turn. So Rue um, had puppies, come here. And so she... Um, blew her coat, so that's why she's so bald right now. And so she is getting groomed every single day right now because I have to continue to get the rest of this fur up. Um, ah, yeah, feel good girl, feel good girl. Now, almost all of her undercoat is out. Oh, you just wanted that bully stick. Sit down, sit. So I don't need to use a glove on her. I don't need to use the Zoom Groom because you see how thin her fur is? Most of that undercoat is out, and I don't need to even try to loosen it because it's super loose. You can't chew on that right now, goofball. So I'm going to do the, um, the slicker because I'm looking at the rake. Because she has lost most of her undercoat already, there's no point in using the rake. If I use <laughs> Thank you. She's just proud. Thank you. You got a bone? You got a bone? <laughs> I told you, you can't eat it. But the rake's not going to do me any good either at this point because she's so bare. So all I'm doing now is just going to slicker brush her and then I'm going to comb her um, and see how much I get out. And she looks really bald, but you're going to be amazed right now. At, how are you going to eat that, Misty? And how much hair I'm still going to get off of her. And you guys can see her tail. Look at how full her tail is. I can already comb it out. Yeah, it won't be that full when I get to it. It's going to start to really pull all out. Stay. Are you happy you got a bone? Huh? So I haven't gotten to her tail yet, but look at all that. <laughs> and she looks bald, right? But this is why it's a daily thing. Group stay. Um, because I don't want this all over my house, and I need to get it off of her so that... Um, for, it promotes the growth of her new fur. And so I have to do her tail. Come here. Turn. All right. Everybody notices Rue by her tail. Yeah. And with her looking so bald, everybody's like, she she just doesn't look like herself, not all fluffy. I know. Give her, a, give her a month. She'll be looking pretty again. Poor baby. So their tails, they really don't care to have it done. So I'm pretty patient with that. I'm not going to force her. I just get what I can. That's why she has a really pretty tail and nothing else. Um, and so I just get over as much as I can. It's not really shedding um, to where it's falling out. That's why it's still so full. But I just emptied this. All right, you want to show them your tail? Fine. So... Watch, so now you guys are going to start to see it because now that I'm brushing all this out, you can see how bald it's going to get. Bless you. Thank you. Sean said you could use her tail for a windshield wiper. <laughs> yeah, you guys are going to be crazy shocked. Look at this. We can see it falling down right now. Yeah, I mean, that's all her tail, and that's just one pass over. Um, so her tail will take some time. And now that the most of her body has lost it, 
and she's focused on this. So did you notice how she was over here just chomping on this bully stick? Get over here. Then she's distracted and she's like, okay, fine. I don't care that you're touching my tail and, and brushing it out. So I want to take advantage of that when I can, but not overdo it because my dogs love to get groomed. So I don't want to stress her out because I'm messing with her tail so much. <laughs> and with her non-stop moving it. <laughs> yeah, she's constantly wagging it. So that's that. All right, you want to get down? Come here, Diamond. Where's, oh, honey, you want to give me River? Yeah. I'll, I'll do River. So River's still pretty young. He's in training now. I'm going to just pass over him one time. What time is it, guys? 45. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm just gonna go over him real fast just to show you he's young and he's getting used to this. And then I'll show you guys puppies. So, jealous butt. So he's up here, he is not really shedding. I'm getting him used to this stuff. So he's still pretty good because he just wants to be wherever I am. But, hi buddy. He's just gonna get a quick pass over. Even though he may not need it, if I'm already doing everybody, might as well give him some love too and get him used to it. And during this process, if they're not shedding, I don't have to go through every step because he doesn't really need it. Um, and then mess with their feet, right? He's just touching everything. Hi, buddy. So he is like four months old, right? And do you see, he's just sitting on a table. I think it is also helpful that I have other dogs who do this all the time. And so to him, this is pretty normal. Um, it's nothing new. What brand or where did you find that slicker brush? I was looking online and have yet to find it. Oh, okay. I will tell you it was uh, a cat one. Um, and Amazon. it was on Amazon, but it was a cat one. And Chris, if you want, I will, um, I can share it with you if you want to email me. Alexis, if you put my email up there, email me and I'll share it with you um, after the live. And I will get it on the website because um, it, it wasn't like on the first few pages. It was like way down there. All right. So. You go ahead, Tom, go ahead, you go ahead. All right. So that is a. Uh, Pretty much how I'm going to groom my dogs, um, the process, the mess. I'm going to show you guys my shirt. So you guys might have noticed that I'm wearing a scrubs top, which is what a lot of nurses and doctors and um, veterinarians wear. There's a reason why um, they wear this because it has pockets, right? And the fur, um, can come off of it very easily. I'm gonna get up close. Um, how much does River weigh now? <laughs> Look at all this fur. And has he blown coat yet? Yeah, he blew his puppy coat already. Um, and he is uh, almost eight pounds. Honey, do you wanna get me some puppies ready? Um, before we do that, we have, Eric has a message he would like to share. Okay. So he's running. Really? Yeah. What? <laughs> I know, I never That's did new. Anything. My husband's in here with me. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name's Eric, Desiree's <laughs> husband. Um, what I what I did the last couple of days, I kind of played a little secret spy and wanted to share it with you guys, and just just so you guys understand and see what. Desiree does on a daily basis and so there was days where I woke up in the morning and she was already awake and <clears throat> I took some pictures, you know, and I wanted to share with you guys just to see what it's like behind the scenes So she has no clue. Uh, I think one time she saw me take a picture and she's like, what are you doing? I said, oh, just taking a picture and she's like, oh, but um, I just thought you know what? I think it'd be kind of cool because I watched right behind the seat and I thought, you know, it'd be kind of cool just to see some snapshots of her doing stuff and sharing it with you guys. And I appreciate it. And I'm sure you guys will too. So go ahead, Aww. Alexis. And thank you to Alexis for helping me kind of do the technology part on transmitting it. But <laughs> thank um, you, honey. Yeah. 
I gotta right. watch this. Too. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah. That was so cool. So a couple of photos I threw in. They were a couple years old, but I just threw in a few couple in there. And then uh, I uh, ended it with, you know, how we always eat dinner and everybody cleaning, washing dishes. And But she doesn't stop. And uh, I support her. I love her. And I uh, hope you guys appreciate what she does because I do. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. You're welcome. That was awesome. Okay, can you give me puppies now? Ah, <laughs> uh, that was very sweet. I did not know he did that. I did question him the other day because he was taking a picture. And I'm like, what are you doing? Um, that's pretty cool. So if you could switch it to the other camera view, the low one. Yeah, and then I'll um, here, turn this light on. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some therapies. So I know that um, you guys are probably waiting for um, puppy offers. I haven't done it. It's been, as you can tell, crazy, crazy every day. Um, this, <laughs> sorry, you stay right there. Um, I will do it, but we're having our puppy reunion this weekend. And so I've been a little busy, um, but I'll get to it. Probably won't be until Sunday. Hey, Kira, no. Um, so it's probably on Sunday. Who do you have, honey? Uh, Sasha. Okay. Is the whole thing or just... if, yeah, if you can just give me some. Hi, Mama. So I'm going to show you Sasha's puppies. Um, they are. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Karina. Okay, all good. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. I have to cover those eyes because if I don't. Do you see that stupid eye from the my picture frame? 
That's what messes it up. It focuses on the pictures in the back. <laughs> okay, Nala. There's one. Any another one? This one's one of the boys. Stop. Honey. Yes. You're not hearing me? No, I didn't. A boy. I said, can you give me another one? Oh, yeah. There. You can actually, if you just keep bringing them, because I don't, it's going to cost too long. Well, this is good, because this is the other one that's very similar. This is the other boy. Put your paw down, mister. All right. Uh, this is the last boy, and then there's one girl. Stop. You can't have these babies. They're not yours. They say, yeah, I'll take them all. They all want these cookies. Yeah, whose phone is that? Okay, that's Sasha's, and then um, that's Timmy Honey. Maybe it could be from over there. Oh, no wonder why I don't have my water. I'm like, why am I so thirsty? It's because I've been in here the whole time. Oh, you want to take them all? Yeah, I can take them all. You want to give me another one first? And then I can hand these to you, or no? Whose babies are these? These are my babies. They're not your babies. Sasha's going to get mad at you. She's going to get mad. Okay, now we are on to Angel's Puppies. Uh, got them? Yes, we got them. Angel's Puppies. Here is Aladdin. You guys don't need to be cleaning him. This is why I can't do this with, uh, with everyone in here, because do you see how crazy they are? He's like, um, look at the camera, goofball. So he's so worried about all of them. Aw, there you go. <laughs> and little Miss Alice. Here, do you want to give me that one too? Yeah. We have Alice, the white one. Ariel. If I sit back here, it looks better. It actually kind of looks better. Huh, yeah, look at it. Yeah. That's better. Oh, now it's got the sunny. Oh. <laughs> Remove. <laughs> okay. And then we have Little Miss. Aurora, which is now going to be Pepper. So these are the two gray girls. You guys don't need to be cleaning them. You guys look tired. Okay. So fluffy. I know they do look fluffy. Um, I am not going to show. Oh, we still need um Cessnos. So I'm going to show you Cessnos, but we're not going to go with the little little babies right now, um, because um, I have there's three of them, and um, one of them is here. Give me another one. Um, not gaining as much weight, so I don't want to pull them. And I don't want to upset mommy. So I'm kind of being really careful with them. So I'm not going to pull them out yet. Um, next week. Hopefully by Monday. Sunday or Monday I'll have pictures. 
but these are the two boys that I need to do a video on and I'll be offering um, hopefully Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Ready? Okay, you guys, I gotta show them. I gotta show them. Remember how close they look alike? No. One's still bigger. My little moose. <laughs> Can you tell which one's bigger? This guy. The little chunk. Let's see if I get them close. Look at how big they are. Remember, they're five days younger than um, than Angel's puppies. Hmm. They're porkers. They're almost five pounds. Do you see this? Like, look at their backs. Look at him. He's got the cross already. Oh, he has. Oh, no, it's this one. <laughs> so, they're big. Look at how big they are. The little chunks. Who is that, Rulu? This is those babies. These are those babies. Yeah. That's the babies. Um, questions on these guys? Three tiny babies can now at least share sexes and colors. Um, well, Lindsay. Yeah, I, I thought I did that last week. We showed them last week. Yeah, we did. We showed them last week. Um, oh, yeah. We did. We announced them last week because we named them. But there's th three black and whites from Jazz and um, Stebbins. Three black and whites, one boy, two girls. Um, but the little boy is pretty small, so I have to keep watching him to eat um, and pull the little girls so that he is getting enough food. So right now it's touch and go. I got to keep a really close eye on him. Which one is the party egg one? Um, let's see, this one. This one. Is the, the light's just really bad. He is big, monster. There, when you look up, then they can see your eyeballs. So do you see that eye? His, um, not this eye, this eye's blue, so his other eye. No. <laughs> so see how blue that eye is? And then look at, see if I can get the other eye to to focus on crap. Let's look at the light. He says, nope. Nope. Let me see your butter. Let me see your butter. And then the other one. That's pretty big. Meow. Where are you going, mister? Yeah. Monster puppy. Monsters. That's the babies. Um, any other questions? That was it. So, I know we're gonna, we're kind of short today. I just wanted to do quick grooming because you guys were asking and you saw the video I did with Simba um, and the spray and all of that. So I thought, uh, we have a lot of new people. I'll just go over it real quickly again. Um, but you wanna have the right tools. So if you make sure you have the right tools um, and make it fun experience for your dog when they're young, even when they're little, they don't necessarily need it because they're not shedding. But if you do it, you're going to get them used to it. You're going to desensitize them from um, being afraid of it. And then it'll be super easy for you to groom your dog because they'll enjoy it. They'll love it. And um, everyone will be happy. And it'll be faster too, right? If your dog is fighting you the whole time, it takes forever. Um, but when they just sit there or lay there and enjoy it, it makes it pleasant for everybody and fast. Um, so that is all I have for you. If you guys don't have any questions, then we're going to call it a night. Getting out of here early. Um, do me a favor. If you guys haven't already, please hit that thumbs up for us. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you're new, subscribe to our channel so that you're notified when we go live every week. We have to get ready for our party. So I got to keep grooming dogs um, and eat some dinner. Yay! But anyways, thank you guys for stopping by today and supporting our channel. Um, we will see you guys next week. Oh, 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 I forgot to tell you. We are going to try to hop on live on Saturday at the puppy reunion. 
So if you guys are interested in seeing everybody here, um, then pay attention to when we go live on Saturday. Fingers crossed. That is my goal, is to go live real fast, show everybody the fun we're having and all the dogs. Hopefully everybody gets along. But keep that in mind for Saturday if you guys aren't going to be here. Um, and then for those of you guys who all chat with each other, the ones that are going to be here, you guys will get to see them in person. So jump on on Saturday if you guys are available. I don't know what time, but it starts at 1, so I don't know, maybe 3. Yeah, everybody's asking us. <laughs> so it's from 1 to 6, um, but because I don't have a set schedule on that, we have some other things that we are going to be doing um, during that. So it's just going to really depend on when everybody gets here and where all the action is and all of that. But um, So it won't be scheduled, but I am planning to at least hop on, even if it's for 10, 15 minutes, just so you guys can say hi to everybody. So yeah, that's it. I see a lot of you guys on here that we're going to see in a few days. Catherine, have a safe flight. Jack and Aaron have a safe flight. Jenny, have a safe flight. All of the rest of you that are driving, be careful, and we will see you guys on Saturday. Again, thank you guys, and we will see you next time. You guys have a good piece of puppies ready. Bye.